Hey Long Care Nation, in this video we're gonna be talking about why you should be adding fertilizer and related applications to your lawn care business coming up. So hey Long Care Nation, uh, I noticed uh, on social media, on Instagram and things like that, the conversation going around uh, fertilizer applications and applications in general and notice that a lot of people uh, strictly run lawn care only businesses and end up subbing out that type of work to somebody else now in this video I want to talk about why you should be really taking that on yourself and quite simply massive profits. Uh, doing things like fertilizer applications is very, very high profit with very low investment. Think about this, uh, you know, for equipment wise, all you really need is a fertilizer spreader. Compare that to uh, running a lawn care business where you need, uh, you know, a zero turn mower or a stand on mower, a trimmer, a blower, a trailer to carry equipment uh, and all of that sort of stuff compared to just having a fertilizer sprayer and a backpack sprayer, say, uh, to uh, apply those applications. So very, very high profit to low investment ratio. So you may have noticed out there that there's tons of very large companies that only focus on applications uh, and fertilizers. Uh, and this is because again, it's very high profit to low investment versus uh, you know, having mowing crews and uh, all of the equipment associated uh, with that. But if you are already uh, you know, have an established clientele, you are already traveling to these particular properties, then that um, profit range is even higher for you because you're already at those uh, properties compared to a company that only does those fertilizer applications where they're driving to those properties. Don't get me wrong, they're still making insane amounts of profits by, uh, you know, focusing in only on that. But, you know, in a lot of cases, I know a lot of you guys, just like me, really enjoy doing the mowing. You really enjoy going out there and mowing lawns and getting the satisfaction of seeing, you know, a job well done. But adding, you know, that service when you're there already, it hasn't cost you any more fuel. Uh, you know, it's very uh, a limited amount of space required to carry, you know, a half a dozen to a dozen bags of fertilizer in a day uh, to take with you with a fertilizer spreader and put that fertilizer out there. And you know, you can make an extra fifty dollars per house putting down a fertilizer application, for example. Now, one of the things you have to check uh, to make sure of is in wherever you live, your county, your city, um, your province, wherever it is that you live to uh, check out what regulations are in place uh, regarding fertilizer applications uh, and uh, say weed um, or herbicide uh, applications as well and the many uh, you know, complex rules uh, regarding that. So I know where the city I live, they're starting to uh, phase out the use of things like herbicides. Uh, so Roundup, uh, Killex, things like that um, are uh, being phased out. And for a single residential, you know, family, single family dwelling, uh, it's no longer allowed to apply that stuff. The homeowners are not allowed to do that. Only in the cases of, say, a uh, you know persistent problem, um, they are allowed to call in a landscaping company that has the proper licenses in place and has gone through the proper training to know when to safely apply that yes. stuff. I would encourage you to look at what uh, is available to you. Uh, look at what the rules are in again the area that you live in, and uh, you know add those as services to your business and uh, seek out um, you know, local businesses around you that provide those things. So, you know, when I'm talking about fertilizer, I'm not talking about, um, you know, going to Home Depot and picking up bags of fertilizer. Now, of course, if that's all you have around you, then that's perfectly acceptable. But, you know, just Google in your uh, area, you know, seed suppliers, uh, fertilizer suppliers, and you'll probably find some wholesale suppliers of these types of products where you can buy larger bags for a much 
much better price um, than you could going the retail way of say Home Depot and buying you know a Scotts brand type fertilizer, thus increasing your profits exponentially uh, and putting more money in your pocket. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below and let me know, do you do uh, fertilizer applications in your lawn care business? Do you also still provide uh, things like uh, weed killers and herbicides in your business? Is it being phased out in the cities and towns that you live in as well? So that's it for this one, guys. Here's to wishing you guys all overwhelming success and freedom in your lawn care business. Bye for now.